hey y'all i'm sitting out in front of starbucks and i'm telling you dustin the he must be a young man right i mean do people our age are they called dustin i don't think so anyway he said he would be here at 2 40 which is fine there's a breeze blowing through the windows and it's not too awful hot um I sure wish I knew. I did some research on vans this morning, and what I came up was vans that are quite like tank are going for around five thousand uh, dollars, forty-five hundred to six thousand at the most. I might have already said this on the video that I just did. You guys, I am really losing it today. I, it must be because I have such a beautiful hair. <laughs> a beautiful hairdo going on here. I mean, come on. Um, but anyway, um, it's really hot. And I've been trying to be uh, very frugal because I really want to have enough money to go out to Lake Havasu. Um, the gas for that trip is about a hundred out and a hundred back, I think, and then food. So it's not really that expensive uh, of a trip. And of course I can sleep in my van, so there's none of those costs. Um, I'm thinking I don't know if I could leave Hazel with Terry uh, for a week or not. Um, she's so not friendly that it's hard, it's really hard to take her and have her be around a lot of people. Now, she's doing really good. Um, she was sitting in front of Terry's recliner when I was leaving the house a few minutes ago and she was just sitting there looking at me. She knew she couldn't come. She always knows whether she's going to get to go or not. Um, she is very puppy pad trained. As long as there's a pad in the bathroom, she will use it. Um, there's a grassy area right outside our patio. He can take her out without even having to put her leash on because she runs right to that area when she's got to go. So I don't know. I'm debating about that. Um, she stays with him all day when I am sitting with Marge. And of course, she's very glad to see me um, when I get home, but she doesn't seem to be like, you know, in a deep depression or going wild she's not tearing up the carpet or anything she sleeps in her various little places around the house she's got that big chair um, beside the bed she has a doggy bed on the floor in my room she has a doggy bed on the floor in the living room as long as she's got like fluffy blankets um, she's pretty okay and she stays in my recliner all the time so um I don't know you guys, um, but this guy's going to be here in a bit. Um, we'll just see how it goes. It may not suit him at all, but he must be kind of interested. He doesn't live like around the corner. He had to drive a little ways to get here. So um, we'll just see what happens and I'll let you guys know. And I'm fighting with myself to go into Starbucks. It's very... The pull is very strong, you guys. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be strong enough to resist or not. I don't need any pumpkin bread because I made pumpkin bread yesterday. I am cooking quite a bit, you guys. We had teriyaki chicken. We had sweet potatoes mixed with white potatoes and some wonderful soft bread and butter. And the chicken turned out awesome. I marinated it for a little bit, threw it in a frying pan, and it was tender, and it was really, really good. Terry and I are going to start tomorrow morning cutting way back on our sugar. I had three waffles this morning, y'all. Yeah, three. And plenty of butter and syrup. 
That's why I've got this roll around my stomach. But anyway, we are going to try our very best to cut back on our sugar. We're going to do like a one day challenge. Hopefully that'll turn into a two day challenge and we'll see how it goes, but we really are going to give it a shot. Now, we're not going to try to cut out sugar totally. That's just not doable. There's sugar in everything. But what we're going to do is stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop making desserts and buying sweet stuff. And so is he. We have plenty of food in the pantry. We don't need to go to the store, so there's not that temptation. Now, I always have stuff in my pantry that I can bake, sweet stuff, but I'm not going to. And um, we're hoping to see if that makes a difference in how we feel. And I know everybody says that it makes a huge difference. Mary Jo cut out sugar when she was going through chemo. She says it helps a lot. In fact, she says that cancer feeds on sugar. Well, they would have a heyday with me. That's all I can say, you guys, because, I mean, you know, most of my diet is like almost pure sugar. So anyway, there's that. So there's no title for this video. Um, I think I'm going to have to go get a Starbucks, you guys. I'm just going to get a little one. But do something fun today, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.